Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Ask Ally. Today I'm going to be showing you a really quick tutorial. I'm kind of feeling under the weather, so I just want to do something really quick and fun for you guys. Today I'm going to be talking about a really fun project you can do in the winter time, especially if you've got a bunch of friends over and you're cold and you want to do something good indoors. You can take a bunch of your old t-shirts and cut them up for the upcoming spring and summer to turn them into something new and fresh that you'll totally want to wear. The only things that you're going to need are a pair of scissors that are sharp enough to cut through some fabric and an old t-shirt, preferably one that's going to fit you really tight under the underarms. That's going to work the best for the style that I'm going to be showing you today. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just smooth the shirt out as much as you possibly can. Just make sure there aren't any wrinkles that you can feel underneath the shirt. Make sure kind of both of the layers of the t-shirt are completely flat before you begin measuring out and cutting. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to use any chalk, but if you would like to, you can use some kind of fabric chalk or any kind of marking chalk to draw a really straight line. But I'm just going to kind of eyeball it two to three inches from the top of your shirt, and you're going to want to cut a straight line down just to underneath where the seam of the sleeve joins the body of the t-shirt. So you're going to want to cut this as straight as you possibly can. So I'm going to start with this side, and I'm just going to start by cutting just underneath the sleeve of the shirt. So you're going to want to pull the fabric as taut as you can between your fingers and start cutting. And I'm just going to make small cuts as I go along. And I'm just sort of always keeping in mind that one spot on the collar where I want to stop. And once you get close, you can stop because you don't want to cut through that seam. So now you can see what it's looking like. You've got this piece that's still attached here, and that's fine. You can just leave that for now and go to cut the other side and make sure that you line it up correctly on both sides. So just go ahead and turn the shirt to where it's going to be comfortable for you to cut. And again, same thing, just starting just underneath the sleeve and going up about two to three inches on the collar making sure you stop once you get to the seam of the collar. And this is really simple. You can do this with any shirt, but like I said, you're gonna get the best results from a shirt that is pretty tight fitting under your underarms. Otherwise it might be a little bit baggy, but I can also show you a little trick that I have to counteract that in case that ends up happening once you're done cutting the shirt. Okay, so now that we have this, I can see that I've got a little bit of extra over here, so I'm just gonna make sure that they look the same on both sides. I'm just going to cut that little tab off so they're even. The next thing you're going to want to do is take this little detached piece that you have so you're almost done. You're going to want to make sure that this back cut continues all the way up to the collar, just like that. And then what you're going to want to do is with this part here, you're going to want to just carefully cut along the ring of the collar just to fully remove this part of the sleeve. And cut as close as I can making sure I don't damage that seam because you don't want your collar to come apart. So that's one, and you can see how I just made sure not to cut underneath the collar, but here what you can do is if you've got some rough pieces, you can just go back over and cut those off. And then same thing, just pull the fabric taut. What I like to do too here is just pull this with my ring and middle finger and then pull this with my index and thumb to keep the fabric tight. And then cut along that. And there you go. My lovely camera woman pointed out that since this shirt is black, it's a little bit hard to see what I've done here. So here you go. You can take a look and see. This is the collar of the t-shirt, and I've kept that completely intact and just basically cut diagonals to just under where the sleeves would be on both sides. And that's what your shirt's going to end up looking like. It's just with this nice ring still attached to the collar. It's not technically a halter because the back is still intact. But the front will give the illusion that it's a halter, but you'll still actually have the back piece of fabric attached to your collar. Now for the last little step, if you guys want to encase your shirt is a little bit large and does not fit directly like flat to your skin, what you can do is cut the very edge of your sleeve. It really doesn't matter where you do this. You can cut your sleeve in any place that you want as long as you're cutting it from top to bottom just like that. Cut a very small piece out of your t-shirt. And then anywhere on this, oh, well, it's already cut in half, so that's perfect. And then you're just going to pull it tight, just kind of go along and stretch it out so it makes a nice, thin strip of fabric. And this is what you can actually use, and I'll show you while I put the shirt on, to tie a bow around the back part of the shirt to make it fit a little bit tighter. Okay, so this is what your finished product is going to look like. I magically changed clothes. And as you can see here, it's a little bit loose on me, even though I picked a shirt that was initially pretty tight on me. So what you're gonna do is take that little tiny strip that I showed you guys before, and you're actually gonna tie it on the back of your shirt. So here's how you do it. You're just gonna take this, and you're gonna put it right back here. And you're going to pull this tight, 
and then you're just going to tie a little half knot and then a bow. And what that's going to do is just make this nice cute little strip of fabric back here and then in the front it's going to fit a lot tighter and it just it looks much nicer to your skin like that. And that's basically it. That's how you make this shirt. And if you want to make it a halter you can just cut the back strip of fabric off totally and cut it at the collar and then you have a halter top. There are so many different things that you can do with this. It's super easy and this is just one idea of so many cool things that you can do with all of your old t-shirts. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to ask me in the comments below if you have any other questions. After all, this is Ask Allie. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and thank you to my camerawoman Lady Dottie for helping out. We'll see you guys next week. Bye guys, thanks!